Charlotte, Charlotte Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'm going to do a video video for you guys right quick for Mr. Jason Zenner. This is his cooker. Uh, go ahead and tell you, it's probably one of the sharpest cookers we've built in a long, long time. I love it. It's a, it's a traditional door cooker, and that is originally what we started out building. So we went to the cabinet doors and straight backs and everything else. But the first one we built in a while, but I really like it. So anyway, this cooker has a, a lot of options and upgrades on it. Uh, this this cooker right here is a 24 by 65 chamber on the on the doors on the ones that are not cabinets models This whole cooker here is 3 8 right here. Okay, every bit of this chamber is 3 8 so uh, Anyway, the firebox he upgraded to a 3 8 firebox He uh, got a hip roof on the warmer. It's an elevated warmer So he got that because I boo-booed I thought he had an elevated warmer somehow So he got that the deal he got that in the deal for free I, I already had it on there, and uh, that's, that's so, you know, it's got a good deal there. But uh, anyway, this cooker, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It has a counterweight on it. It's got a counterweight system on it. Remember, this is a 3 inch door, and look how this door is open. One hand right there. So, uh, and he just likes the look. He likes the look of, of this cooker. It's got two levels of braids. We've got gaskets around the door. This thing's going to seal very, very, very tight. So again, it's very easy to open and close. Do that, locks down, locks down, it's tight. So he has a probe insert on these great levels. One here and one here. Okay, the upgrades, some of the upgrades he has. He has the old down stainless shelf on the warmer right here. It goes up, locks in, and there it is. So we're the one doing that now. So. Uh, don't see anybody else doing it yet, but it's coming. They gonna start doing it. Watch them. They'll, they'll, they, they love to watch our videos and do what we do, which is fine. But uh, also this cooker here has a stainless shelf that runs a full length of the chamber and it breaks back into the firebox. It has a backsplash where it, uh, any residual goes down in here. Off the cooker, it's gonna hit the backsplash and be right down in here. So it's great. Look how neat everything is on this cooker. Notched out. Coped out from the fenders, broke back on the same angle as the trailer. So uh, it's, it's, it's not. Have the hip roof on the warmer, which, I mean, never mind. Have the hip roof on the warmer. We have three levels of grates in here on the warmer. We have sausage rods in here. I have another rod right here that he'll pull this out, lay up there. He'll hang bacon off. And Jason brought me some of the best bacon I've ever had in my life. It's bar none, and I'm serious. He brought me some that he had smoked and cured and stuff. Never had none that good, ever. Have we, Sharon? Delicious. Delicious. I mean, I mean, it was killer. So he's got an elevated grate right here in his uh, in his warmer on the three shelf warmer. So also he has a three eight firebox. Look how thick that firebox is. Actually, it's about seven sixteenths to tell you the truth. He has right here. Fire basket comes out locked. He has the ash pan right here in the fire box. And uh, that way it's gonna be really, really easy. Clean up, LED lighting, everything broke back, tied in. You know, like Shirley Fabrication does, everything's gonna be really super, super, super neat. So again, this folds up, locks down. Shirley Fabrication sign right here, made in USA. So he got, he added that made in USA on it. Again, these are custom fenders right here. Look how neat they are. These are 3 16 thick fenders. I can hit it. I, don't make me get my sledgehammer out again today. Cooker's painted. I'll get a sledgehammer out on the 10-pound sledgehammer and beat on them, and they'll look just like it did before I started beating. Because that's the way we're going to do We're going to do things right if we, if we do it. Come on up here. Has our remote grease drain. See the grease drain way up under the cooker? He can come right here and drain his grease. We think about it. We got our noggins on when we build cookers. We're thinking about convenience for the customer. I'm not only a cook, I mean a builder, I cook, and I cook as good as anybody in America. I promise you, no, I don't do competitions. I have no desire to do it because I'm doing food that people eat, real food. So I'm not doing that paint and everything with a paintbrush on my food and giving it to somebody and nobody ain't gonna like it. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna do that. But anyway, this also has a dual burners right up here. Has a shelf right here that folds down. Again, for convenience. Has a shelf right here that folds down and it'll lock. So right there, it has a flag umbrella holder right here. 
Hold on, Sharon. This right here has a griddle. He upgraded with a griddle on it. It's a three-eighths thick griddle, too. It'll go right here on it burns. See the way we do our griddle? We have a really, really nice grease trough on this griddle. Really nice uh, grease drain that we made. I've modified many Blackstones. I got one right now to modify and then two more. Because Blackstones are a great thing, but the griddles suck because they're, they're not deep enough on the trough and uh, the drain's not big enough. So he hang him a little soup can right there and cut his, catch his grease. So I'm gonna put this thing right here and it's heavy. It's heavy because we ain't building no junk. Again, he's got the dual hose right here, uh, dual burners. He's got the removable tongue on it right here. Uh, that we, we, we do this. It also has, you know, the tank holders right here incorporated into this really large wood box. Come around here, Sharon. Really large wood box right here. Got another umbrella holder, a, a, a black holder right here. See if you can get a shot of this right here, Sharon. He had the tire cover put on. Uh, this is Shirley Fabrication. They're selling these now. $85 a piece. They go on here. They have a uh, dual log. Uh, Things that go around there and they have a lock for them, it locks it. So I don't think this thing's gonna come out. It's gonna be there. Uh, again, something else he ordered. Show you two different things here. Right here, this is a, this, this would be our shop. Our shop dolly, right here. This is what we move cookers around with in the shop. Notice the wheel and tires. That's what you're gonna get at Home Depot or Where's the other place I can go in Birmingham, Sharon? You know, where I get cheap stuff. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, yeah. And, uh, you know, some of the Harbor Freight's okay. I buy a few things up there. There's some things you can't buy, some things you can't. But this is Shop Dolly. I can move that big cooker with it or any of them in here on concrete. This is the Dolly. This is the Dolly we make and sell. It has a, that's a 3,500 pound axle right here that's been cut down. It has, Eight, it's called eight inch tire, but they're 16 inch diameter. It is, uh, so that thing's just like on a boat trailer or whatever. It's what you'll see on our patio model. So, uh, I mean, you can roll in grass and anything else with this. Now, naturally, if you roll in a heavy, heavy cooker, have somebody back behind you giving you a little lift and you can move it anywhere you want. I mean, I go right here under this cooker right here, pop it in here, and uh, here it is. I know, you know, for granted, this is concrete. But if you have a little slope or something, you get somebody to give you a little shove, and you can do it. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. Again, goes in there. I will tell you, these dollies are up near $300 a piece. But uh, again, that's a 3,500-pound axle. 16-inch diameter wheels. They're not just little, you know, they have a hub on them and everything. So and my thing is, if you, you know, somebody wants one don't want to pay that, then that's fine with me, but I don't want to build it. You know, I have to make money on it a little bit anyway. They don't make a lot. But again, this this cooker, just come around here, top Sharon, in the front. Just just kind of scan the whole cooker. I want you to get back and really back up, Sharon. Back way on up. Okay, I don't know. She's trying to not back up and bust her backside, ain't she? Oh, she's shaking her head. Yep, but there's stuff everywhere. But look at this cooker. I mean, look at it. It's a beautiful cooker. This cooker is a beautiful cooker. There is no doubt. I don't, you know, Jay did 99% did of the work on this cooker for me, and man, it's uh, it's incredible. He did a jam up job. I mean, Jay's as good as they come. He's gonna be, if this stuff done, it's gonna do, it's gonna be done right. I did build the burners and all that, and you know, a few other little stuff. But Jay did the, the grunt work on this cooker. He did the fabrication. Well, come over here, Sharon. Let me just show him something. Y'all come up right here, stop about. Well, you can get up pretty close, whatever. Look at the welding on this cooker right here. Go up there, Sharon, show me. Look at the welding on this cooker. Look at the welding on it. Go up and down them welds, Sharon. Here, go back there. Look, that is slick, 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 slick. Average Joe Blow is not the one welding on this cooker, not the one building. It may not mean nothing to nobody. I understand that. That's fine. That's fine. They're, they wouldn't be our customer database. Anyway, somebody wants stream high quality for a regional price, and where you go to, guys? I mean, we have a huge backlog in every region for that. You know, I've had people say, hire more people. You don't even know what you're asking. You can't find them, for one thing. Furthermore, we're very picky. 
you know, I don't put up with you, I don't put up with no nothing. You gonna do right or you don't for me. That's just, I, I ain't real, I, I'm a man of second chances, but I ain't a man of third or fourth chances. But anyway, go here, okay. Tyler did it on him and up here his boat. He built this boat from the ground up about eight years ago, didn't he? But you see it, I mean, he built it, it was flat plate. It was flat plate, let me have the camera, I'm gonna take the camera now. It was flat plate steel. He mounted the motor, he did the hydraulic work on it, he built the whole stinking thing. He's up inside there now. Uh, he's up inside there now. Uh, okay, Sharon, I hear you. He's up inside there now, and uh, do a little bit. That's my buddy Jason right there, he just came up. You like your cooker? Love it, man. Love it, love it, all right. Uh, I wish you lived closer, man. You keep me filled up with bacon. That stuff was unreal. Yeah. It was really good, really serious. I mean, it was jello. Well, all right, I'm finna close the video out. I've gone through this entire cooker. I don't know what else a man can want in a cooker. Uh, so, anyway, we're gonna get off here for this morning and get back to work.